Hello and Hello. welcome to the God Lee man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking we played Devil oh, May Cry. It's a game. It's a violent game. <laughs> it's a, yeah. Turn away, run away. <laughs> Yeah. Run away. <laughs> There's your warden. Oh, fucking holy shit, dude. Holy shit, that's not, it's not lasting five seconds. <laughs> nope. Alright, new game. Fucking new, new game. game. We're playing Devil May Cry now. After I, uh, I think we should see the demo again. <laughs> there was a I think we should see that warden thing. I don't know if we're warned properly. Oh, oh yes, there's always a war. It's always a fucking war. His name was Sparta. Oh, we know about Sparta. We watched the anime. Yeah. I, yeah, I kind of remember it a little bit. He became a legend. The legendary Dark Knight. Oh, we were, we were. Oh, he does look intimidating. I could beat him up. I could give him a wedgie. Oh, you're. We will see a lot of resemblance to Resident Evil in this one. Ooh. Because this was supposed to be a Resident Evil sequel, but the oh. the gameplay was too much of a departure for them, so they was like, eh, let's let's make it its own thing. Nice. Oh, look at all the demons. Oh, shit. Who's fucking up my door? Hey, oh, slow down, baby. Hey, oh. Wrecking my pool table here. So, you must be the handyman who'll take any dirty job. Am I correct? Almost. I only take special. Oh. I don't think we saw that sword. Yeah, we don't see that sword. The anime, but that's the that's the Force Edge. It's his. What about what about that sword and that and that it's his the daddy's mount? In in the demon, no, we don't use any of those swords. Oh. <laughs> we do get another sword, but it's none of those swords. It looks kind of like those swords because they only have so many. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many models ooh, to use. Ooh, <coughs> ooh. Excuse me. Yo, you got fucking wrecked, son. Oh, yeah. Why you're not mom. <laughs> oh, she's not my mom. She looks like my mom, but she's not my mom. My mom's dead. Oh, yeah, and I bet that gives you a bunch of uh, un unresolved issues that you gotta deal with there. E. Oh. Even as a child, I had powers. There's demonic blood in me. It all goes back to the attraction you have for your mother. <laughs> you were the first one to know. <laughs> that, doesn't help, that doesn't help that he actually does become attracted to trash. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's all part of the healing. Of course, we watch the anime, they retcon their relationship, but still. They're like, mm, maybe a little bit too creepy. <laughs> what? Mommy! 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 Oh, mommy! mommy. It's my mimmies! <laughs> Sigmund Freud grows larger and more intense. <laughs> Not moon this. Not the moon this. No. No. The moon I just wanted to. I always wanted to delve a little bit deeper into Sigmund Freud. I know, like a lot of his stuff is considered like pseudoscience now. But some of it kind of sometimes well, rings true to like a lot of a lot of people. I think. <laughs> I think a lot of people do have like a weird Oedipus thing going on. Oh yeah, yeah. That it's it's evidently clear. Come on, let's go. Seems more normal than people want to <laughs> admit. Yeah, but it it seems to. It, thankfully, though, it it seems to be those that have a 
have more of a, a motherly mother than than mm. the ones that you know we we don't get to choose our mom <laughs> our mom is just like, <laughs> the way it is because i i feel i'm the complete opposite when it comes to an oedipus complex <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Not attracted whatsoever. Can can't can't honestly say with any of my I, I can't see any of my thankfully I can't see any of my family members as attractive. Like not a single one of them. Mm. <laughs> I always think like it's not even in like a you consciously think, but like there's like you know just of like how you because and it still rings true to like. You know, it would be like a an unattractiveness to you because of like it's that that is like the person yeah, who kind of defines like I, who I, uh, gonna, a woman is to you. I, you know, I, I know this is gonna be, but I'm gonna use this as an example. I'm I'm not gonna be surprised if Kim Kardashian's sons have problems. That that's all I'm trying <laughs> to say. You know, I'm I'm not gonna that 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 would be. I would understand you yeah, coming from there. Hmm. Yeah, I meant more in like the uh, the uh, the subconscious thing of like, uh, cause you know even like how like some some women will kind of like date dudes that remind them of their of their dads and stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> some will fucking actually. Because developmentally, like you know, if you had like a positive experience and like what you'd see as a positive male or positive female figure would be someone like your parental figure. Yeah, it it's it's very possible. <laughs> Fucking, I know I can do this. Fucking, just let me do it. I know a little bit. So... <laughs> Fucking, let me hoppity hop. Fucking, let and we me... definitely know from many, many a serial killers whose sexuality is definitely tied to like their, <laughs> their mothers. For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, Mr. Uh, Ed Kemper. <laughs> definitely comes to mind uh i yeah definitely a kemper he's uh <laughs> but uh and even though he's not a serial killer i mean like uh someone who kind of like had a huge impact on the sexuality of like ed gein a little bit a little bit i would i would say to a lesser extent mm -hmm. your gene Because he he uh, he was a pro uh, Kemper was more of a product and uh, Gein was more of the process. It was a weird combination of both. Gein was the shoe Cause... fetish, fucking uh, what's his name Burroughs. Oh, that his mother did that on to to him though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> would uh. Call him a filthy, dirty boy mm -hmm. while spanking him, and and unfortunately, he had a spanking fetish, so it, it just. Yep, and then he also like played with his teacher's feet too. Yeah, it was like crossed crossed a lot of wires there. Oh yeah, <laughs> but of course those are extreme examples, but but still nonetheless, the the uh, evidence to show that the the it's wires there. connect with the <laughs> with the parents. <laughs> It is, it is evidently there, and if you if the parents are too too much, they could actually severely fuck up the child. <laughs> mm -hmm. And oh, even the uh, of like when it's uh, too much the other way, when they're too neglectful, then you get little fuckers like uh, like fucking uh, son of Sam dude. Yeah, fucking. Even even though even though I believe it, it was definitely like three of them. <laughs> Yeah, no, there, there's no way David Berkowitz did all of his crimes. Yeah. He he, he definitely took some from I think he did a paper. couple, and then was, I think for the most of them, he was the watch. Yeah, yeah, dude. If anything, if he was even present. Because some, mm -hmm. you could, he could have just, like, picked up a newspaper for some of them and get the information. Yeah. I know, like, for one of them, when the, he wasn't where the gunshots were, but he was... They saw him running from another place because it was obvious, like, it seemed like he was he was watching from the corner, like, watching for any cops and stuff. 
Oh, we're getting a new blue fragment. Oh, definitely tell this is the, the Resident Evil part. David Berkowitz. So yeah, he had, he had a bunch of mother issues because he was like, oh, I was abandoned. Oh, and then my 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 adopted mother didn't love me. <laughs> it's like then they they wouldn't have kept you. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, they loved you too much. Yes, I know. I need to go up there. But I need to destroy the suits of armors first. I need to destroy the environment first. Get these items. <coughs> Fucking jump on the thing. Jump up there. Boy. Oh, I haven't encountered any enemies yet. I hope this mannequin doesn't, like, come to life after I take this key from him. Oh, yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. You, you can't, I told you not to come to life, and you come to life. At least that one Spider-Man down trying to surprise attack me. You. Oh, no, you hit me, you son of a bitch. I'm a marionette, just a marionette. Ooh. I can't wait to see ghosts. Gonna see ghosts soon. Nice. We have so many fucking shows. Fucking so many. Anybody out there got any shows you're gonna see? Put it in the comments below. These definitely will go out probably after your shows. Some of them. They're pretty spread out. I got, uh, let's see, what do I got? Next, I got Peaches in LCD sound system. Uh, that's like the 30th of May. Then. What else do I got? I got a fucking... After that, I got King Gizzard in June 8th. For two shows in one day. Nice. Then... I think next is... When's Wu-Tang? <laughs> Wu-Tang and Deltron 3030. That's at some point. I think that's on September. Huh? Yeah, Wu-Tang Clan, yeah. In... Deltron 3030. 17 puppets are my masters. They will be no omission as long as my masters are here. I think Ghost is not October. Oh, I think it's going to make me. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Hmm. It's Got Ween in August. <laughs> you better believe I'm seeing Ween every time they're here. <laughs> oh. I'm part of the people that are always there now. <laughs> and I forget. Have to I, accept I, that I, I can't have to do shows. I have to double check if I don't know if she got it for me or not. Depends, but it might be going to see Flaming Lips with Eric Andre and Reggie Watts. <laughs> oh, that's so. That would be so fucking cool. Uh, lucky, fucking lucky. But that's a po that's a possible. I don't know if that I, if I got those, I have to double check. I did say I was down for that to, to get those if they're getting them. I don't know how possible because, of course, they're being like instantly sold out and stuff. Of course. Double check on that. <laughs> oh shit. There's someone at work I was talking to that I might be doing a show in November of Nea Blimiscaris. <laughs> oh. 
And I already just got done seeing Mr. Bungle and the Melvins, and then I went to a free show of the Slackers. Oh, was oh. that the same night I was tripping nuts? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, did I overdo that? I, I <laughs> really overdid that. I <laughs> Didn't pace myself though, cause I get, I got some less than stellar news, so I was like, "Fuck it, just gonna trip nuts today." No. Thirty fucking grand. I was rolling pretty hard for Ganja White Knight a little while ago. <laughs> nice. That was fun. There was a very, it wasn't a bright light, but it was a, like a fluorescent color light. And I'd get mad every fucking time it went away. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I needed to keep the light. Something about that light was fucking choice. Green light. Oh, and it was so fucking hilarious seeing the fucking car shrink. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's okay. It, it was definitely my death perception. Oh, there's my <clears> first <throat> file because I I attempted to play this by myself, but I was like, I, I really don't want to play this by myself. So I'm oh, I'm I'm saving over it. Oh. Oh. You gone. You done. done. Did it. I done did it. Next mission. We done did mission one, now we on mission two. Can I, yeah, I think, even power up? I think the shaman was also trying to talk me into going to Death Clock show. Ah, uh, fucking... Oh, that, I, I would actually might have to break my rule of not going to shows <laughs> to go see Death Clock. <coughs> that would be amazing. Them and gorillas are probably the only two that I. But it would have to be, it would have to be a performance, you know, of gorilla like with the, the um. The the holograms, I, it would have. To yeah, be they haven't done that exactly like that in a long time. Yeah. Usually but, they just have like a music video above. I saw Guar and Mudvayne were coming to. <laughs> it was weird that it, weird that Mudvayne was with him. Hate to say it, Guar's going a little bit mainstream on us. <coughs> there. Mm. 